I'll put it to you as well here this morning. I think, uh, I, you know, we're really keen to listen to the outputs of today's deliberations and, and I look forward to receiving the report from uh, this really important um, workshop. Um, we want to know what we can do for you, what we can do for local government, what we can do for local authorities to support your biodiversity actions. So I look forward to formally receiving the, um, the report of the outputs of, of these workshops. And they're huge and immense opportunities. We've seen that particularly with the Lord of Pollinator Plan, a plan that was devised around the kitchen table by Professor Jane Stout and Newton Fitzpatrick. And we see right across the country now what would have been previously unacceptable in our, uh, in our um, public areas where grass areas un unmown or, or, or the appearance of being unkempt uh, are now um, proudly displaying the All Ireland Pollinator Plan logo and sign with the, with the um, Bombus Artorum on the, on the, the, the knapweed. And I, I think that's just been really transformative. I think the, the, the pollinator plan has been a very, on the face of it, a very simple plan, but has been deeply impactful in communities across the country. And I, and I think it's, it's, it's those type of inspiring actions that communities are engaging in tiny towns groups and that local authorities are really uh, embracing. But also tree, tree planting, incorporating green infrastructure for flood alleviation and water attenuation, for cooling of our urban areas, uh, our local authority housing projects, designing in good landscaping with, with pollinators and with biodiversity in mind, all of that will be really important. Uh, I think it's really important too not to compromise nature in development and in development plans. All actions that local authorities take should be nature positive. I think that's something we really need to be mindful of as well. And the other final point I to make is around planning, around participatory planning in general. I think it's really important that we need to embed participatory planning methodologies in local authorities' plans and programs. And we must move away from the very linear process of part eight and box tick uh, consultation processes. Participatory planning leads to much better outcomes for all uh, for development for nature, for people and communities. And it also reduces conflict and, and leads to a much more uh, inclusive process that all voices can be heard. I look forward to the rollout of our biodiversity officers and having a, a biodiversity officer network across the country that um, interacts and is playing a vital role in the bigger ambition that we have around nature restoration in Ireland. Uh, we will have a new national biodiversity action plan. The draft plan is in for public consultation at the, at the moment. Uh, until early November. I would urge that you would uh, take a look at that, at that draft plan and if you can and get time to input into it. I think it's really important um, that you would uh, make your views known on that. It's going to be a critical plan for Ireland. Later this year, I'll be heading to the COP15, to the Biodiversity Summit, um, looking at the, at the post-2020 global biodiversity framework. Ireland wants to lead and be a leader in, in biodiversity. And I think uh, it's at local community level that we can make the deepest impact. And that's why this session this morning is hugely important. This is where we can make the great, big, transformative change. So I wish you all well. And as I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you out in the field somewhere over the next number of months and years. Gormahan Galera.